I think both of us, we've played like defense our entire two seasons. We've never been on the offensive. We've never come for anybody. Yep. We've never spread a rumor or a lie or insinuated right. or brought up someone's past. Like it's always been like them saying something and then us having to defend ourselves. Travel in style, darling. Welcome to Bahamar. It's a celebration. I thought we had an incredible first day in the Bahamas. It was really a lot of fun. We laughed a lot. Yeah. And it was really nice to kind of see Alexia interact with the newbies, if you kind of, you know, if you'll call us that, by herself. I, so you know, she fun. was, she was, she like let loose. I think her, she herself even says it, right? And then it's like Marisol comes and it's like, all about drama now. How are we gonna fight? And like, it's, there's definitely a swift, like a shift in her energy, I think, when Marisol gets there. Oh, for sure. I think that day one was like so epic and, and like, you know, the Sex in the City girls and we're just having fun. And I love that Alexia. It's like, let loose, there's no reservations of any sort and so forth, you, you know, it, it feels, it felt so good. And I want more of that. I, I'm excited to see, you know, Hopefully next season, if we're all back and, you know, we'll, we'll definitely hopefully try to make that happen more. <laughs> I mean, look, I don't guide my behavior off of anyone else's actions, right? I'm the type of person that if, if I do something, whether I intended for it to be bad or not, if I hurt you or you tell me, hey, what you did bothered me, I feel bad about that because I don't want my friends to be bothered and I don't want my friends to be upset with me. So whether it was my intention or not, if I bothered you, I'm going to apologize because that's just how I am, right? Yeah. The fact that she can't apologize, that doesn't affect me. She can not apologize till she's blue in the face. If my behaviors offended her guest, then I will own my apology for that. Some friendships in like this group will never say to their friend, and to me, if you're a good friend, tell me the truth. I don't wanna hear yeah. you, you're not an entourage and you're not my therapist. I don't need you to nod. I need you to tell me the truth. And so you see that it doesn't go both ways. And so when it happened to Adriana with the divorce papers, it was a simple mistake. They thought he was married. He wasn't. What, what can we say? Just am I bad or bad? We shouldn't even have pride in your business. And on top of that, my bad. I'm sorry. I was looking out for you. Good intentions, period. Not what, well, because you, that's the problem is that we need to try to be more fair across the board, whether it's your right or die or not. Why not? Why can't we do that? We're all grown adults. We can take the truth. <laughs> you should apologize for this slander. Slander, slander. Oh, yeah, come on, come on. Give it to me. Give it to me more. I'm done talking to you. Sit out. Should I bring out a little violin? All right, and all right. You? You're so pathetic. <laughs> I will, favor. Don't judge, don't judge me. I'm always perplexed with my relationship with Alexia because for me, I feel like we would, we should naturally be yeah. a really good friend like a, a duo or whatever right like we have so much in common when it comes to like our backgrounds and our families and things like that like I think it's just we we understand each other or we should be able to understand each right. other but for some reason there's like always something that's like keeping us from moving our friendship forward and I don't know if it's like the constant drama that other people create or what that is but I always feel like when we're by ourselves, we get along really well, but whenever we're in the group dynamic, something keeps us apart. Yeah. And for me, I think that right now, I, I would say that we're cordial. I haven't really heard from her, but you know, um, I, I, I hope so. I don't have any ill intent or feelings towards her. So again, you know, I'm, I'm not that person to ever be the offender. I'm the defender of, of my truth and that's it. You know, so I'm good with her and I hope she can put it past her, whatever she thought, however she felt about me. And we could, we could get started into a true, true friendship, you know, without anybody meddling in, in it, you know?